200,000 people are going to be diagnosed with epilepsy this year. Neurons fire in a brain creating a storm of electricity that can spark uncontrollable shaking. But new technology now is helping to end seizures in 60% of patients. <coughs> it can happen anytime. Anywhere. Every day, three million Americans fear this will happen. Jeff Mardig was one of them. I was having probably about 30 a day. They started when Jeff was 12. The seizures continued for the next 21 years, striking this high school athletic director at home and work. I'd feel a sensation in my nose, my right, left side of my face would twitch, and then I would start gasping for air. Doctors at the Cleveland Clinic use SEEG to pinpoint exactly where in the brain the seizures start. It is basically a technique that is designed to assess where the seizure is coming from. SEEG electrodes are snaked into the brain through tiny holes to record those electrical storms. New imaging tools can help doctors pinpoint the exact cause. We can see at the microscopic level some of these lesions. For the first time in patients with epilepsy, these lesions are being destroyed with lasers. In some cases, the lasers go through the same holes created by the SEEG. We started using this to ablate some small areas of the brain where the seizures may be coming from. And after two decades of seizures, the problem area in Jeff's brain was removed. I haven't had a seizure since. It's like a brand new person. It's amazing. New technology that helped Jeff clear the storms in his head for good. Isn't that amazing? Surgery is only an option for the 30 to 40 percent of patients who do not respond to medications. The doctor tells us patients who have epilepsy are more prone to cognitive and memory declines later in life, and he hopes the surgery will stop that as well. If you'd like more information on how this technology works, go to thedenverchannel.com, look for lifestyle, and click on staying healthy.